Hey everyone, welcome once again. It is track review number two, Behind the Bars. Welcome to Oakland. This is a super fun track. I will have the track link down in the description below along with the password. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I saw a few people enjoying the first one, so I want to keep these going each and every week if I can. Sorry if I sound a little, sound a little bit stuffy, you know, coldness, sickness going around, all that stuff. Anyways, let's get into the track review. Uh, skip to this time if you want a uh, raw, unfiltered uh, track run. So... Hopefully this one will be a little better than last time and I can ride a little bit better. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, here we are. <clears throat> Ready to go. Oakland. This track is actually a little bit different than it was in real life. Um, I know Anaheim, you know, was, was probably more close to the actual track than this one is. Um, but I think it's just because they made a couple of changes before the night started uh, yesterday. Well, I say yesterday. I'm recording this on Sunday. This is a little bit different than the actual in real life track that they did. So if you see a couple differences, if you actually watch the uh, uh, the race uh, and you notice a couple of different you know places, it's because it is. It's a little slightly different. Lanes are a little bit longer, um, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. It's actually a really flowy, fun track if you can get it down. Uh, pardon my uh, suckiness here. I haven't gotten warmed up just yet. That is bad, but you, you triple, triple that. This right here is definitely different from uh, the actual race. This this jump is a lot bigger. And then also the jump across the straight. You saw it on uh, the actual Yamaha track map before they actually went out and built this, but it looks like they changed it because there's not an actual jump that goes across there. Um, and I wish there would have been because it would have been super, super sick. All right, come on, get it together here. All right. These whoop sections, it's hard to blitz through this first one, but the second one's a lot easier. It's a lot smaller. This uh, section is also different. I don't think you can jump across like they were to that uh, that on-off, but it's all right. So this section here, you can definitely blitz the whoops a lot easier than you can that first section. Finish line's pretty easy, pretty simple. I haven't really checked the lap times here to see what, uh, you know, what a good lap time running is, but, um, I, I, you know, we'll, we'll check it out. I'm not going to say an actual time because it could be completely off. Love tripling on up to this table and singling off there. Okay. There we go. Triple, triple, and double out. And the only way I can seem to make this double here is by getting a good run up to it from the outside. Again, that's like the only way I can figure it out. This jump is so much fun. I, I love it. I really do. And there's that in this section. I just can't get a good run onto it. I can do the first few and then I have to start jumping through them. So it's not terrible, but I feel like if I could blitz through, it would be so much faster. Right, there's that. This whoop section is, probably, section is probably one of my favorites I've ever ridden. Just that little, little blitz. Easy to go through, really fun sand section of course super fun triple here triple there i don't think they were doing that in real life either in that section triple triple could be wrong come on make it there we go i know they were getting all the way over the table in real life too on the 450s but uh, i feel like getting onto the table and singling off is probably the more efficient way to do it Again, sorry if I sound a little bit gross and uh, unenthused. I'm just trying to get over, uh, like, allergies. The weather has been changing like crazy around here. And so uh, <clears throat> it just kills me every time it does that. Like, it was, like, 33 degrees yesterday, super windy, it, like, super cold in the day. It's, like, in the upper 40s, almost 50s. It's sunny, so it's, like, you know, drastic change of weather can really mess with your body. That's nice. Getting through this a lot smoother than I did last week's video, that is for sure. So it looks like 104 is a good time there. It's not bad. Not bad. Here we go. Super hard if you don't get it right. Oh my gosh. 
I just screwed up my whole lap there because of that. Now I can't get going. It's like I'm on freaking glass. <laughs> All right, let's try this here. I'm sure somebody would get really steezy across that big old jump there. I wish they would have kept that in real life. I feel like it would have been a lot better. Oh. That whoop section is just not my friend. I'm not a big fan. What is wrong with me right now? Wow. Not really sure what they were doing in that. Well, yeah, I do. They, they were, again, doubling up onto that uh, table all the way from across the front straight. And I'll show you next time around. It, you definitely can't do it like they were doing it in real life. It just doesn't have enough of a takeoff. Okay, 103 on, on lap before this one. so much speed coming off that table it's so easy to hit that Ooh. barely oh my gosh that was terrible so bad I love railing these corners man if I can do it I'm definitely gonna do it see I'll even get up onto the whoops and it's just about right here is where I gotta start jumping Okay, so this section here, that, that jump on the outside going to it, they would hit that and then double up onto the table. I just jumped over and then double out. So it would triple off that, that on-off, which was really sick. I'll try it next time, but I just there's just not enough lift off. I'll show you. I wish there was, because that would be a lot faster and better of a line. I don't think anybody was hitting that uh, inside there like I do. Because it's just it was a lot faster doubling through that and then going out. All right. I love this section. That's probably my favorite right there. That section is so much fun. This track again is super flowy. Just got to get the flow down to it, and it like once you get it, man, it's really really fun. Oh, not good. I hit the tough block before I took off there. We're all right. That is the hardest part right there. I feel like it's a lot bigger than it was in real life because they were just blipping that like crazy just to get over it. What they would do is just like it's a little single here and there was like almost like a little dragon's back that would come into this section. Then they had a double coming into these whoops as well. So the whoop section wasn't as long. I don't know why they changed that, but I'll show you here. So they were actually doubling out all the way onto that table. And I just don't... It's, don't see a possibility doing that. There's just, again, not enough takeoff on that jump in the game to do that. I'll try it next time around, going a little bit faster. Ooh, 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 I bounced that so bad. Thank you for that one, suspension. Can't imagine what that's like riding supercross in real life and then semi casing the next section up but hitting it so hard that your suspension just bounces you over that next section i i don't i don't imagine it probably feels good but you know hey whatever works i saw guys doing it last night too i think joe shimoto was doing it a whole ton in his heat race kept over jumping sections probably a little bit nervous but uh, he would make it through it. He, his suspension would just bounce him over. Okay, again, not enough speed. Keep forgetting I was gonna try that. Okay, next time around here. I just gotta stay more on the, uh, I guess, the left side of the whoops to get into that outside. Man, I need to pull the tear off here. There we go. down on this section before because I didn't have enough speed coming in. Oh, yeah. We were jumping all the way over that table. I might try that next time. It's pretty big, though. I feel like the on-off is a lot more efficient. Oh, man. Now I've just got this whole section screwed. If I can keep straight and not slide at all, I can get over that double pretty easy. There we 
go. Got through it. Okay, stay on the right side of these wolves here. And of course, it's just completely messed it up. Should have enough speed though here. I mean, man, it's really close, but just not quite enough there. that I know best and not worry about pushing anything at all. You know, I kind of wanted to get over this table to see if I could do it. I'm sure I can. Uh, no, not that round. I'll do it next time. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, let me turn this around here. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> oh, every time I go to record a video, of course, it just... It just goes like this every time. I'm sorry, I apologize. Just skip this section for now, come back to it. See, if I can get that rear tire planted, it's good. Hey, there we go, that was a good one, that was good. Yeah, I just don't see that happen. And that probably would have a good lap with those whoops that I hit. Oh well. Guess we can try it again, right? Ooh, suspension. Oh gosh. Well, that was a bad deal. Again, I love the environments of tracks. I've said this in almost every single one of my videos. Um, it, I, I just love the environments. If it's got a good environment, I really like to play the track. Uh, more and more that I play this game, I used to think that, you know, the environment was kind of like, ah, whatever, as long as the track's good. But, I, I mean, I don't know. As I play this more because, you know, if you're playing MX Bikes, you're not getting on here for just you know, a good 30 minutes. You're getting on here for an hour at least. And so you want a good environment to be able to look around. So if you're just on this boring track that's just got nothing on it, it, it's harder to, you know, keep the motivation to want to do it. Where am I at? Okay, I found the finish line. That's actually probably better so I can redo these laps. So I'll take a couple more before we go into the uh, just raw laps. <clears throat> it's so much fun. This track is so flowy. I gotta say, I, I definitely choose this one over Anaheim 1, just because I, I mean, I like Anaheim 1, don't get me wrong, but uh, I don't know, this track is just a lot more racier, I feel like, and the whoop sections make a whole lot more sense, too, <laughs> that's for sure. Right, there's that. Didn't my rear plant, rear tire plant it quick enough there for that one. That's what's gonna happen if you don't. shifted up there. It's not something I needed to do. Oh my gosh. I cannot get it down. I'm just doing terrible now. Alright. Squirrely on those too. We'll take one more lap here, and what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and do some raw laps. Overall, I know we've only had two tracks so far, but uh, out of all the Supercross tracks this year, this is my favorite out of the two if I had to pick. For sure. A lot flowier. A lot more room. I think the only thing I don't like is this jump right here. This is about the only part of the track that I'm not huge fan of at all, as you all can probably tell by now. There we go. I love that part, though. This part's so much fun. I think coming up to the whoops that I cannot hit for some reason. Get this inside, get over it. There we go. And my 
favorite whoops here. All right. Well, hey, I think the best time that we got here, let's go check it out real quick. As I return to pit. So it looks like 103 is my best time there. Not a bad deal, not a bad deal at all. 103 for this track time. Probably a little bit better than I did last time. So, I mean, I'll take it. All right, guys, I appreciate you uh, tuning into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll have another one next week for round three. This has been Oakland. Again, track link is down below and, along with the passwords. So check it out. Go support the creators, and I appreciate it very much. Now, here's some raw laps, and I'll see you next week.